So we'll start off with inventory, which is going to be your most straightforward of the three areas that we're going through today, the most consistent across different areas about what matters. Um, so this right here is just mapping out. Um, there's some cool mapping features that Power BI um, allows you to do. Um, and you can, with, what you can do is you can map your, and what's going on here, sorry, is that we have, we're showing three different warehouses and the amount of inventory that's in those three warehouses. And then we're also changing the color of the circle based off of how much, um, about off of how much um, open pallet positions that we have inside of the inventory. So at a high, very high level, a quick glance, I can see the status of my, of my three different warehouses. And if there is an issue with open, um, whether we have a capacity constraint issue in any of those three warehouses. And also we can go through and we can click on interact with these dashboards. So we're clicking on one and all of the other numbers on the page are going to um, respond to that and filter accordingly. Um, also what we have here is what everyone cares about is how much you have in inventory. So just a, a basic look about what your actual dollar value um, you paid for the inventory versus what it, what it would expect it to be based off of the standard um, value of the raw materials or your cost of uh, goods, um, and it allows you to drill down into that into that information for a specific warehouse, and you're going into an item type. So I can go ahead and look at specifically how much I have in the inventory uh, at even the most granular level, um, all the way down to the finished goods SKU that I have, and I can see the value of my inventory across all my different areas. Now, what could be more useful for a warehouse manager or someone running the different warehouses is how much open space do I have? Um, also, something that's not shown here, but if you have perishable goods, um, sh being able to show what's getting close to becoming expired and then what is expired and be able to point that out so someone can go and actually take care and make sure they are using um, and hopefully decrease some of that inventory loss. So what I can do here, um, just for example, is I can drill into one of my warehouses um, and then I can go further in and I can look at my finished goods or I can look at this blank, which would be my open pallet positions, and I can actually go in and it can tell me exactly where the bid location of all of these open pallet positions is. So if I'm a warehouse employee and I want to know where to, uh, I, I want to know where I can put this new purchase order that's arriving today, I can go ahead and figure out where this can help me plan, um, plan those things by going, or uh, by, um, letting me know where I have open space inside of my um, warehouse, along with if I'm looking for a specific raw material, I can go ahead and find where that is in my warehouse.